So today I thought I would do a quick video on how to switch to a new Samsung phone, this time the Galaxy S23 Ultra. This should work with just about any Pixel phone or most other Android phones as well. Now before you go ahead and switch over to the new Samsung phone, you wanna make sure that you back up everything from the old device. So if you go into settings and just search for backup. Now if you have Google One, you can back up through that. Or if you don't, just go ahead and hit backup anyways. It's gonna give you enough space to back everything up just so that you can move over to the new device and it should back up your apps, photos, videos, text messages, call history, your device settings, and everything else that's synced with your Google account. There'll be a little progress bar here, but if you accidentally close that, it'll also be up in your notification shade once it's completed backing up then we can move on to the next step it could take a few minutes to finish depending on how much stuff you have to back up now before you start you might want to put your sim card in otherwise once you get so far into the steps it'll have you restart now on this phone you want to put the sim card face up usually you can't mess this up because it only goes one way with the little angle there now the s23 ultra also accepts eSIM mobile plans Go ahead and hit start on the new phone. Personally, I'm only accepting the stuff that's required. I usually don't do the optional stuff. Then go ahead and choose Galaxy or Android device or iPhone or iPad, depending on what you're using. Go ahead and hit setup. Then it's gonna scan the QR code and then just put in your fingerprint. It also mentions you wanna keep these two pretty close together until setup is complete. You can do this wirelessly or using a cable. I'm gonna try using a cable to see how it goes. I tried my USB-C cable from my newest iPad and it doesn't seem to like that. So I'm gonna switch it over to the one that came with my new Samsung. Then you'll wanna go ahead and open up Samsung Smart Switch on your old device. Go ahead and hit continue. Once you say allow a couple times, it may ask to go into your settings for smart switch. You've got to toggle that on for permissions to access all of your files. It should start continuing automatically. Then you can choose to transfer everything or just calls, contacts, messages, where you can pick and choose on what stuff is being copied over. Then just tap on transfer. I'm also gonna choose all the messages to transfer over as well. I know it's a lot on there, but might as well. Then it's sort of up to you on some of this stuff here. Most of this is just optional. And then just tap on accept. Then we're gonna go ahead and add the fingerprint. You'll need to back that up with a pen, password, or a pattern. Then just completely scan your fingerprint until it gets to 100%. Then you can choose which apps you want installed on here. I feel like some of these are gonna be duplicates, so I might uncheck a few. And then just tap OK. Then you can go ahead and log into your Samsung account. Uh, if you don't wanna mess with that, you can always do that later. It is gonna give you access to Samsung Cloud, the Galaxy Store, Secure Folder, Galaxy Themes, Samsung Plus, things like that. And I believe most of these are optional, so I'm just gonna uncheck all of those. Again, some of these settings are personal preference. And then just tap Agree. If you're not familiar with Samsung devices, it also gives you some tips here, just so you know where everything is located. I believe you can also go back to this later on, so you don't have to memorize everything. And then once you hit done, that should be just about everything. There may be some apps that you have to go into to log in with your account, but other than that, everything should be good to go. And then it's gonna take a little bit of time here. I would go ahead and tap it where it says keep screen on. If you tap in the notification shade, you'll see the progress bar and it says I've got about 40 minutes left. As you can see here in the middle, I've got almost 500 gigabytes to get moved over. So depending on how much stuff you have is gonna determine how long this takes. But I don't know, I'll let it go for a while and see what happens. And then once everything is completed, you can unplug your phones. You'll definitely wanna to try to send a text and try to send an image to somebody just to make sure everything's working. And then of course, try to call as well. Personally, I wouldn't delete anything off your old phone yet until you make sure everything's on the new one. Then it'll say all done on your old phone. It'll also try to organize your transferred data. But while it's doing that, you can unplug the cable and then just start testing out the phone, make sure everything's on there. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.
Let's go. 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 Let's go.